All right, Blue Knight fans, welcome to this edition of the Blue Knight Spotlight. We are with head coach Tim Belize, um, the head coach of the women's volleyball team here at Urbana. Um, coach in her first year. Um, first of all, thanks for joining us. No problem. And first, let's take a look back at last weekend. You had two big matches. Um, both went to five sets. You played Friday and Saturday night on the road. Two five setters in less than 24 hours. Take us back to those games and kind of what stuck out to you. Yeah, they were they were fun. Uh, they were actually a lot of fun. Uh, we saw some key performances from Elise Butler, Caitlin Dunlap. Uh, you know, honestly, I think everyone at one point really stepped up big, which is great to see. Uh, you know, being plagued with some injuries, kind of random ones throughout the whole season, and to get both our middles back. Mari had a an ankle, so she was out for a week, and then Elise had her ab, <clears throat> which she was out for a week and a half. Um, you know, so we've been kind of battling some of those uh, kind of nagging ones and then some kind of random injuries that just happen. And it was neat to see the team come together uh, in spite of a lot of distractions and uh, a long travel. You know, going down there is tough, but I think it's neat to be able to go down there, play two great five setters and uh, come back, uh, you know, with, with some, you know, with a win under our belt. But the way we play it is what I'm really, really pleased with. Okay, great. And that was, you know, you're in the huddle. Of the, the second game, was there anything brought up um, you know, come on guys, this is, you know, we were just in this situation last night, we can do this. Was there any kind of talk like that going on? Yeah, so I probably can't repeat exactly what was said in the huddle, but what was really neat is that the girls took it upon themselves uh, to really uh, rise to the occasion. That was neat. And as a staff, we talked about it quite a bit uh, on the way home, uh, you know, to have them work so hard and to get in that opportunity in that position, it's neat to have them uh, really take care of business themselves and you know as a staff we just had to get out of the way so it was neat to have them do that see that feel that but then to come out with a win because as you see with the our previous matches we've lost a lot of close sets uh, to some really good teams uh, so it was neat to to have them you know see that through and really be the driving factor uh, intrinsically which was neat okay now let's look ahead um this week Another big match coming up Friday night at home. Finally back at home. Yep. Um, you have West Virginia State coming in, and they're two and six in the league. You're two and six in the league. Throw in uh, West Virginia Wesleyan, two and six, all vying for that um, kind of last spot in the conference tournament. Um, talk about this week's matchup and and kind of what your message is to the team at this point in the season. Right. So, um, it, you know, our conference is crazy because you have a lot of teams that are emerging, that are doing really well, um, and then there's kind of you know a uh, kind of middle of the pack that there's probably you know four or five teams that are really fighting for so it really could shake out really interestingly you know so what we've really preached to the girls from the beginning is we want to be great in November you know we want to be great and playing our best volleyball at the end of the year which we are right now you know and really uh, having conversations with the the leaders on the team and the uh, leadership council and really making sure that we have an opportunity to play that volleyball consistently because I mean gosh we could make a highlight reel that I think would rival anybody in our conference but it's can we put a highlight match together and I think that's where we were able to to get closer and closer and if we continue on this upward trend upward swing I think we're gonna be in a great position come November when it really matters so I think uh, kind of having them uh, continue on the straight and narrow and us as a staff you know keeping things loose and positive um, is gonna be really critical uh, in this phase of you know especially playing uh, this Friday and then coming up with our next couple matches so it's it's a, it's an exciting time and uh, it can also be a stressful time if we if we don't kind of look at the big picture so sure sure now you, you kind of hit on the rest of the league uh, with you being in your first year can you just give us your overall first impressions of the league so far gosh um, there are some great athletes um, I think pretty much across the board teams are improving which is awesome you want to be a part of a, a conference that is that is uh, constantly improving. I think the coaching is really good in this conference, and I was really impressed with the first half of conference. I think that uh, you know playing. I think our first five matches were the top five teams in conference, so it was a great kind of punch in the in the gut. Hey, this is where where you're at in the conference. This is where the conference is at. Now you get to work towards that versus kind of maybe the other side of that and maybe feeling we had a better situation than where we were. Uh, but it was a neat contrast for us to be in that. Um, I'm really impressed with the with the conference as far as the the defense that's something that i've i probably underestimated watching film from last year i think there's one been a huge improvement in that uh, but there's just some great athletes that play some great volleyball which is is fun to you know game plan against and, and train against so yeah yeah definitely okay now um you know with you just finished off a big portion of your schedule on the road you have some home games coming up 
Can you kind of mention your promotions you have lined up for the next few matches? Definitely. So we've been working really hard as a staff, and the girls have been really involved in this and in finishing the season, obviously on a positive note, uh, on the court. But we really want to help um, gain momentum in building Grimes as a fun place to play in, and that's critical. Um, obviously, you win. People come. People want to be a part of those programs and those teams. Uh, but it's also uh, understanding and having them see your brand. Uh, what kind of volleyball do, do you play? How do you, how do you look? You know, how do you compete? Uh, which is exciting. So, um, you know, with these last, I think, six home matches, um, we have basically five events. So um, next Tuesday, the 27th against Notre Dame, it's a home match, obviously. Um, we are doing a Dig Pink um, uh, event, which is kind of fun. We're doing an online fundraiser, and then we're also having a bunch of raffles and events and T-shirt giveaways. Um, and the girls are really running with it, and it's been awesome because I think it's a great uh, cause, and I think it sometimes can get lost in all the hoopla, but I think the girls are, are really working hard to make sure that this is a genuine uh, event, and it's awesome to get you know, support from our fans and the and the students to, to be supportive of that and create awareness of that. So that's happening on Tuesday. Um, and then um, we are on the road that following weekend. And then when we return on the following Tuesday, we're playing uh, uh, Wheeling Jesuit. So we're, we're doing a whiteout event for that. So we're really gonna um, have quite a few promotions for that. And I just realized that that is not Tuesday. It's Friday. It is Friday, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. So that's why I have great assistants. I yes. have great assistants that know the calendar. So we're actually Friday, November, Sixth. Sixth. We're doing a, a whiteout. So you can come Tuesday, but we're going to be at practice. So we'll just, we'll give you the t-shirts if you want to come, but then we'll have you come on Friday. Get two t-shirts. Two t-shirts. Um, but we're doing a whiteout event. So we're going to really try and pack the house for that. And that's the one that we really want to have uh, some fun uh, community outreach and, and students. And uh, we're going to have some other events going on that uh, for that. Um, and then uh, the following Tuesday the against the 10th, November 10th, against West Liberty, we're doing a staff and faculty appreciation night. So one thing that has been awesome here is getting to meet uh, the different professors and administration, and there's a lot of positive changes occurring. Um, I think it's uh, the least we can do is to have a night of acknowledgement for them. And um, you know they work so hard with our athletes, our student athletes, to to you know kill it in the classroom. It's I think it'd be neat to get them to the to a match to have them see you know how hard they work outside of the classroom, which is obviously another side of that. So we're going to be doing that that Tuesday. And then uh, that coming Saturday is our last home match. Um, that is November 11th? 13th. 13th, not even oh, close. Saturday is the 14th. 14th. Sorry, you play on the 13th and 14th. Correct. And we, uh, we're we doing senior night um, that night. So it's neat because there's a, there's a good chunk of seniors that have been here for a long haul and that they've worked really hard to improve the program every year. And it's uh, we want to send them off on a great uh, last hurrah. So that's going to be versus Glenville on the 14th. So we're really excited about that. Okay, Coach, great. Is there anything else you want to add to the uh, – any other message you want to give to the Blue Knight community? Yeah, uh, keep up the support. Keep, uh, you know, I want to give a shout out to men's soccer. They're killing it. Uh, they're they're doing their thing. And it's been neat to see that evolution in men and women's basketball is getting geared up. And uh, there's a lot of positive changes occurring. And I'm excited to be a part of it, um, you know, being a small part of it. And, um, you know, just get out to some home matches if you can and make sure you're showing those support. And, you know, be those loud, rowdy fans that we like to see uh, supporting our Blue Knights. So thank you. All right. Thanks, Coach.